Hi guys, welcome to Bowhunting Soul. Uh, today's episode, we're actually going to be in the kitchen. I think in uh, one of the first episodes, if not the first one, I said 50% of hunting for me is making all the all the food, the food part of it. So I love my own, uh, you know, butchering, processing, uh, you know, making of, of everything. Well, today we're actually going to do um, a blade roast. Now this is a shoulder roast, which is the scapula. Okay, the dreaded scapula that, that uh, bow hunters want to avoid <clears throat> when they're, um, so the arrow, you know, can like not penetrate and stuff. There's a bone in here. I've actually uh, cut this in half because it was such a big roast. It depends on, uh, depending on, on the size of your deer. Now this is a cut that's usually, you know, a lot of people will, will kind of cut the meat off of and they'll do, they'll put it in the grind pile. They'll turn it into burger or jerky or that kind of stuff. But this is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite way to do uh, any kind of cut of meat on the deer because this is going to be low and slow and we're going to do it in a Dutch oven and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a really really super simple recipe. You can do this in your um, crock pot as well. A Dutch oven works really well for me. I really love doing that and it's just, it's just season it with whatever whatever you want. I'm going to do salt. I'm going to do a little bit of onion powder, some thyme, and some black pepper. It's right here. First we're going to sear this thing in a Dutch oven so we're gonna get a nice kind of crust on it and then we're gonna braise it I've got some uh, some uh, some beef stock over here actually it's some uh, game stock that's uh, heating up over here we're gonna put that in there and it's gonna simmer low and slow for about three hours it's gonna be fall off the bone now if you were to try and do this with uh, like a hot and fast kind of preparation like you would do with like say backstrap or, or any of the other cuts from the from the backside <clears throat> it's going to be super tough. There's a lot of connective tissue in there. There's a lot of, um, uh, not, not silver skin, trim away the silver skin. There's a lot of sinew and, and connective tissue. And those things that make it such a nightmare to, to do, uh, you know, grinding and, and doing it, you know, uh, cooking it on the grill would be super tough, super chewy. Those are actually what um, I've heard referred to as like meat butter, because internal meat butter, because this is actually going to melt. It's basically going to turn into pot roast. Um, in, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the pot. So it's uh, low, we're not even gonna boil it, it's just barely simmering and it's just gonna sit there. And when this is all said and done, uh, the, the, you know, you're gonna be able to pick the bone. The bone will literally come right out of it and it's just gonna be so, uh, tender, super, super tender, super nice. And then uh, later on when this is done cooking, in the last uh, you know, 45 minutes, let's say of cooking, I'm gonna add in some potatoes and carrots and some onion because you don't want those to get mushy. And then uh, it's just gonna be, you can serve this, you can eat it as is, or you can serve it over rice, noodles, uh, whatever, whatever you really want to do. It's really, really going to be good. So right now I've got um, the heat going on my, on my Dutch oven over there. And I'll give you a link to that Dutch oven too. Um, I'm an affiliate with Amazon. So, you know, if you're going to do any of this kind of stuff, I'd appreciate it if you kind of click through the links I'm going to provide below and you can get all the same stuff. You can do it through the crock pot as well, but, but you're going to have to sear it separately. I think <clears throat> with the Dutch oven, it works really, really well because you can kind of do it all, all at once. So um, I'm just going to season this up and then uh, I'm getting the, the, the Dutch oven nice and hot. going to have a little bit of olive oil on the bottom to kind of sear it. And uh, when that's done, I will show you what that's all about. Thanks. All right, guys. So we got the olive oil nice and, uh, nice and hot. It's getting kind of smoky. So I'm going to add the meat. And all we're doing here, hear that sizzle, is we're searing, we're searing that meat. So we're going to get a nice crust on there. It should just take maybe like a minute or so on each side. It'll take like a minute or so on each side and we'll keep, kind of keep flipping it, get all sides nice and uh, um, crusty. That's all flavor being built in there. And then over here in my other pot, I've got uh, beef stock and I've got one bay leaf in there and we're gonna add that to this bring it to uh, bring it to a simmer and then leave it on the stove top on like setting you know on my stove it's only like one or two it's, it's, it's the crock pot or the, um, the Dutch oven is so so efficient it doesn't take a whole lot of heat you can put the you can put it in the oven as well but I mean it literally takes very little flame to keep this thing going it's just and, and the flavor that you get I think is uh, a whole lot better so so we got it getting a little bit of sear right here flip it over the other side then when I get all sides all done 
I'll show you with the liquid. All right, guys, so I've added the stock in there right now. And you can see it's not completely covered, okay? It's about half full, and we're actually gonna bring it down. This is called braising, okay? It's not completely submerged meat. It's, we're just basically simmering this meat, and it's gonna sit and kind of even be a little bit, it's a little bit hot right now, but it's gonna even simmer a little bit less than that. It's just gonna be just kind of bubbling, and it's gonna sit like this. We're basically gonna put a lid on it, Leave and leave it like that on low for the next three hours, and all that all that connective tissue in there, all that all that muscle, everything is just going to break down. The bone is going to give great flavor. Um, like I said, I've got some beef stock in there. You can use any stock you want. Uh, I've got one bay leaf in there, and it's just really really simple. You season the meat like it, however you know you want to season the meat. If you wanted to, you could actually add a packet of um, uh, stew stew seasoning that you get. You know, like. Like like Nor or uh, uh, McCormick or, or or whatever you know, uh, it just adds a little bit extra uh, rich flavor. You can kind of um, depending on the stock you use, you can kind of do it to taste. So we're just gonna let this sit like this, and uh, when we come to the last hour, I'm gonna show you you know potatoes and carrots and stuff I put in there, and uh, then it's gonna you know finish cooking for the next like 45 minutes an hour after that. And I'm telling you guys, a lot of people, uh, especially you know for you gun hunters and stuff, and I rifle hunt too. Um, will tend to uh, there's, uh, you know shoot a deer like through the shoulder because you want to anchor the thing you know they want to you know to drop I, I understand that but it ruins a lot of the shoulder meat because the bullet goes in it breaks up those bone fragments and it, it basically it makes like a little like mini grenade that goes into the you know the heart lung area and stuff and yes it absolutely anchors um, the deer but once you have this and you know what an inc incredible flavors that come out of um, th this kind of meat because because like I said the bone and the, and the, and the ligaments and, and um, connective tissue and everything just like break down and just get so nice and soft and, and, and mix in um, it's like pot roast you will never ever shoulder shoot another deer again I promise you so um, I'll see you in a few hours thanks all right guys we got about half an hour 45 minutes left we cut up some baby potatoes carrots onions and they are gonna go right in you get an idea see how tender this is getting can't really tell on the video but it's kind of start pulling away from the bone so this is gonna cook down for another half hour 45 minutes those vegetables will be good and be ready to serve all right guys it's all done notice see it's completely off the bone again this is like half the scapula because I had a pretty big pretty big shoulder and I actually cut that in half it's really really rich nice thick broth and this okay it's not like professional chef quality right but we got dollop of sour cream okay more of a dollop of sour cream and I'm telling you okay you guys will never ever 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 again shoot a deer through the shoulder if you have this so same with the shanks if you do that's the next section of um leg down past the shoulder blade that tends to get uh used for ground be you know a ground you know meat and all that stuff don't do that same thing you can cut that up that's that's perfect rich osobuco um just ex you know and this is super super simple to do it's not really that hard so expand your horizons beyond uh jerky and uh you know just just back straps on the grill and stuff like that so um i'll put a link to some of the stuff i used in here this dutch oven is key um again you could do it in a crock pot too i'll list that down there too so i appreciate you guys watching and uh like share and subscribe thanks